Crypto trading has exploded in the last year and a half. But crooks have taken notice they are finding new ways to pounce and pilfer. And yeah, Jackie, these crimes have recently skyrocketed. Alyssa is back with one South Florida man's story and the red flags the feds say you need to look out for. I felt very vulnerable. Hatton Mercy says he had an entire life savings stolen in a cryptocurrency investment scam. More than a half a million dollars. Completely, completely gone. The Fort Lauderdale man says it all started when he received a wrong message on WhatsApp from someone he thought was a friend of a friend. And they give you the feel that they're very intelligent, um, very caring. Chatting about everything from music to business, but only via text. They asked me if I have... Uh, interest in cryptocurrency have never actually invested in crypto at first the person referred him to legitimate trading platforms where Hatim said he decided to open an account she started sharing with me links to this new company then said that they're about to start having their crypto be traded then she introduced me to this website where that's the only website that you can actually purchase that coin. He did some research on the company and said the site seemed legit, so he decided to open an account on Olex.com. But in order to buy this supposed new coin, Hatim said he needed to fund the website's virtual wallet with other cryptocurrency. So he purchased Tether from Binance.us, a well-known legitimate trading platform, and transferred it to this new site. I was like, okay, well, Binance been around forever if they allow me to do that then you know um, that's one thing that made me feel a little bit comfortable he even tried transferring funds back to Binance and said it worked had Tim then started moving over thousands of dollars worth of crypto after that I had seen about 35k in a period of a week growing to over four hundred thousand dollars it seemed too good to be true because it was but it was too late. In early October, the Olex website became unavailable, which it still is. Had him losing any possible way to access his money. For a whole week, I just couldn't sleep. The Florida Attorney General's office has received nearly 100 complaints regarding these types of scams with a major uptick in October. Even more shocking, the Federal Trade Commission says from October 2020 to March of this year, there were 12 times the number of crypto investment scams reported compared to the year before. We've seen a lot of these types of cryptocurrency scams start on social media. Somebody approaching you in that forum who you don't know, um, saying, come and invest with me, that's a red flag. Christopher Leach is a staff attorney for the FTC. Claims that you could double, triple, 10x your money, that is a very clear red flag. He says it's important to do your research and check reviews and be wary of pressure to invest immediately. Binance.us sent us a statement saying they work to educate their users on safety and possible scams, saying in part they monitor account activity, including blockchain transactions to and from Binance.us. The teams identify and blacklist addresses associated with suspicious or malicious behaviors and work with law enforcement to take down any malicious sites. Alyssa Hyman, NBC6 News.